So I want to discuss the concept with you guys of the loudest voice not always being the right voice. And I don't watch too much television. However, recently there has been Netflix documentaries that were recommended to me. I'm not actually too sure if Chernobyl was Netflix or Sky, but it makes no odds. I would be one who, you know, I call, th I say things as I see them. I say what I see because when I, when I say what I see, it sets me free. It keeps me in a good mental headspace. I know that I'm keeping my side of the street clean and I'm speaking from a space of love, okay? And the two things that have jumped out with me by watching the documentary Cherno Chernobyl, which I would highly recommend you watch, and the most recent one that I just finished watching yesterday, which is When They See Us, is the following. What happened in that control room in Chernobyl should never have happened. The loudest voice in the room that was shouting and that was being very convincing and controlling in that situation wasn't the right, right voice to be speaking. The other people in the room knew what the right thing to do was and they didn't feel strong enough, even in numbers, to handle the situation with their moral compass and do what the right thing was to do. Sometimes the hardest thing and the right thing are the same thing, okay? And with regard to when they see us and those five boys who were wrongfully con convicted of that heinous crime that happened in Central Park, that whole police force were instructed and forced to coerce those statements out of those boys and lied to their faces to get what it was that they needed in order to get the monkey off their back, which was the, the prosecutor. Everybody knew that it was the right thing to do. And not one of those men or women felt like they had safety in numbers. Sometimes, I always say, I'm not here to be popular. I am not here to be popular. I am here to get a job done. Do I make mistakes? I make mistakes all the time. Do I learn from them? Hell yes, okay? I'm not walking around claiming to be a perfect human being. Nowhere near it. Not even striving for perfection. I'm just striving to be better. Hitler great, gave a great talk. Oh God, he was a great speaker. And people listened and people did what they were told. And if everybody had, had a risen up, they would have had safety in numbers too. And they could have overthrown that whole situation. Hitler was a fantastic speaker, but what his end game was, wasn't fantastic. So, I want you to analyze your life and find the elephant in the room. There's gonna be a post about this next week or the week after maybe. Find the elephant in your room and find the post, a couple of posts back of when I was asking you for the question, what, what is the elephant in your room that you're not pointing out right now? We all have something that we know just isn't right or something that doesn't sit with us. Say it. Say what it is that you see. Keep your side of the street clean because if the people in the control room in Chernobyl said what they could see and overpowered that man, that disaster would have never happened or they could have contained it. And if somebody if that prosecutor who was given that file, I'm gonna ruin it now, okay. I, I won't give any spoilers, but there was a person who could have spoken up. There was more than one. There was definitely more than one who could have who could have spoken up for those boys and they didn't, you know? They could have changed the trajectory of their lives forever. So, I just want you to contemplate that and give me some feedback. Tell me what it is that your elephant in your room right is now that you that you know you're going to point out going forward. Have a great day. Slam.